Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. Well, we stayed up really late last night. I was cooking, and uh, so we slept late this morning, and so now it's 10.30, I know. So this is going to have to be like breakfast and lunch, so we'll probably have our bigger meal uh, around supper time tonight, yeah. Anyway, so today, I figure if a few greens are really good, then a lot of greens ought to be even better. So we're having a whole container full of the baby greens today. And to that, I'm going to add some of the celery tops because I have a bunch. Now, I just uh, wash these real good and put them in the refrigerator in a plastic bag, and they're keeping really, really well. And I think that... Uh, Celery has some uh, antibacterial properties about it. Three small carrots. I put my apples when I peeled them in a glass of water so they wouldn't oxidize so fast. So this is three small pink lady apples. Mash all that down. And we're going to go ahead and use two bananas. One sort of a well, they're both sort of medium bananas this morning. Yeah, I stayed up late cooking and or baking. And uh, also, in between all that, we were watching the news, which has gotten pretty, pretty uh, scary, really, with the, all the demonstrations and then all the uh, stuff to do with uh, the waterboarding and all that stuff. Yeah, we listened to the uh, guy from the CIA that was to do with that torture of prisoners, or they called it torture, waterboarding and all that, on uh, Megyn Kelly last night. Um, Megyn Kelly Files or something it's called, I don't know. So we listened to some of that. Didn't listen to it till it came on the second time because I was busy baking. All right, so this morning we're having four cubes of cream of wheat, two cubes of the coconut pulp, a couple of cubes of orange, one cube of the parsley, can y'all see that, frozen, and two large California dates to sweeten, four cubes of tangerine juice. So yeah, I'm about to run out of orange juice, so I'm having to use more of the tangerine juice. That I, don't, I don't think it works as well to hide the taste of the greens, but I think tangerine is healthier for you than orange juice. Or at least that's my understanding. All right, we got all of that in. And now, let me move this out of the way. So I'm going to use a little of the peanut butter. Oops, two oranges stayed in the glass there. I mean, two uh, apple pieces. See, I'm sleepy still. Yeah, I'm going to get back to the cooking here in just a few minutes. I think I'm going to go ahead and change up things instead of making cakes right to start with I'm going to uh, make some butterscotch fudge yeah in a little while maybe I'll videotape that too all you know, the sun's coming in it's later this morning than, than normal much later in fact let's see if I can get that peanut butter out of there now there we go it's a good two tablespoons in there. Yeah, our situation, you know, the war on terror or whatever, and then we've got all the demonstrations and about the policemen and all that. It's all very disturbing. It really is. I'm almost at the place where I don't even want to watch the news anymore. You know, I mean, we have peace in our home, you know what I mean? Peace in our neighborhood. I mean, it just, it's just gotten bad, really, really bad. All right, going to add some warm water this morning. Now, this stuff is frozen, not real solidly frozen, but I've got uh, a lot of greens, and uh, the apples are not frozen, of course, and the carrots aren't, so... Anyway, here we go. All right, I'm going to cut this off while I grind this up. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, this went pretty quick this morning because I had 
um, and, and I've got like 45 ounces so I had a lot more greens uh, the baby greens in there and uh, it went a lot faster yeah it seems I make better smoothies when I sleep late <laughs> that's what it seems anyway all right, no overage this morning. Very good. All right, I'll give this a taste. I tasted of it a while ago, but I want a big taste to know what it tastes like. Okay, y'all can't see. Oh, sorry. I know the sun is terrible there this morning. All right, here we go. Oh, I taste bananas and apples which is interesting because I don't have any uh, mustard greens left. I actually ended up cooking those for lunch yesterday. They were really good too. There it is. Let me get that little uh, container that the uh, baby greens come in. I want to read you what's in those. Hold on. Okay, there it is. And they were, they've changed the label a little bit now. And so it says spring mix right up here, and then it says baby lettuce, baby greens, and radicchio. So on the back of it, it says organic baby lettuce, uh, green tango lettuce, Lola Rosa lettuce, red oak lettuce, green oak lettuce, red romaine lettuce, green romaine lettuce, red leaf lettuce, green leaf, and then organic. All right, baby greens are spinach, tatsui, mazua, red chard, green chard, red mustard, green mustard, uh, frizzy, and arugula. And organic radicchio. There you have it. That's a lot. Anyway, so this morning, of course, I, uh, I only used two cubes of the orange juice. And... Uh, and I used four cubes of the tangerine juice, but there really wasn't much of a green taste to hide this morning because I didn't use like the mustard collards or the kale this morning, but I will definitely be using that tomorrow. There it is, it's really good. You can't taste the peanut butter at all this morning. Mr. Bucky will say, is there peanut butter in this? And I'll have to say, yes, there is. All right, so we will see y'all. Maybe we'll do a video of the butterscotch fudge and maybe one other thing I'm cooking today so or baking today. All right, we'll see y'all later.